Hello all, and welcome to another City States Medieval Development Update video. It's been a little while since our previous entry, as the focus has mainly been on bug hunting and improving performance for the last while. And while we loved bringing new features into the game, it's critical that everything previously implemented works as it should, particularly with these multiple systems working hand in hand with each other. During this time, we have also been working hard on both the next set of new features as well as refining previous ones, such as hero abilities, which we won't talk about today, but personally I'm really excited to share what we've done here at a later stage, and I will mention that this does include Magnus himself. Today, however, we do have a new system that we want to show off, and that is the Tech Tree. Many of you should recognise this, as it's a much-loved staple of games in this genre, and we received quite a lot of requests for it to exist in CSM. Not that I have to remind most of you watching this, but for newcomers, our focus has always been on making the gameplay elements functional before we address aesthetics. So, this is a very naked, unstyled version of the tree that you can actually expect to see in the final version. Currently, our early version of the tech tree can be broken down into multiple paths of research. You can see at the top in red we have military orientated options, and if we travel down this section we can see that later tech will give us access to more advanced crafting recipes for weapons and armour. Below this in green we have options for production. This includes things like advanced tools, as well as unlocking more specialised buildings such as the charcoaler. And finally, you can see that we have some other goodies at the bottom to research, like reducing upkeep costs and unlocking trading options. We have many more techs planned to bring into this, and although a player can eventually unlock everything, there is of course a time and resource cost to do so, so meaning that early on you will need to decide what suits your playstyle and the direction you want to take your city in. So let's take a look at one of these in action. I'm all about the combat in CSM, so it should come as no surprise that I'm quite keen to take a look at the Gladiator option here. As we can see, this will unlock the Practice Arena. This is also a new function we've built into the game, and will allow players to practice combat without the risk of losing troops. I'm going to research this, and we'll skip forward a minute. Now that this is about to complete, two things are going to happen. The first is that, as you can see, the next available tech will become researchable, which in this case is killing stuff. Notice how Art of War is not unlocked. This is because it requires both the Gladiator research we just completed, as well as Brewmaster to unlock. The next thing we should see is that the Practice Arena is now available. As mentioned, this allows a player to practice their combat skills by selecting both their own troops as well as their enemies. It's worth noting that this tool allows you to use troops you may not have yet access to, so as a player you can get a feel for what you like and what kind of army you wish to recruit at no cost, and without having to lose troops you've trained when coming up with new strategies. All in all, this is just an early taste of our research tree, but we hope you've enjoyed the first look, and we're looking forward to showing off more advanced research options in future communications. I'm going to cut the battle here because I don't want to give away my tactical plays, and it's, it's definitely not because I lost against the AI here. <laughs> As always, thank you for continuing to support City States Medieval. If you're not already a part of our core community on Discord, we recommend you to join via the link in the description below. This is where we post all of our updates, host community events, and where you can ask the team or our community any questions you may have about the game. Take care, everyone. We'll see you again soon.